In today's video, I share what I think is a hyper-productive multi-monitor setup. I've curated this over a few years and love this design so much that I copied it twice so that I have my personal and work machines side by side in the same exact layout. If you skip the whole video, the idea in a sentence is that we throw out the notion that we have to use screens up close like most people do. We're going to describe how we use all of our screens a bit farther back and basically build an ultra wide screen that lets you make calls and take full advantage of all of the pixels. If you buy an actual ultra wide screen, the problem is they're usually only a wide version of 1440p or a wide version of 2560 by 1440, which is a low amount of pixels relatively speaking to 4K and other resolutions. If you increase in price, you get wide 4K, which they pretend is real 5K by calling it 5K 2K and you're supposed to sit up close, but the pixel density is still low and non-retina in Mac terms, and they don't make retina quality, ultra pixel dense ultra wides at the same pixel density as an Apple 5K Studio display or 6K Pro Display XDR. By moving back, you open a world of options and increase your eye comfort, and I'm going to walk you through the awesome things this setup lets you do, including reducing eye strain because all of the images are sharper, adding a laptop into the setup as part of our ultra wide that lets you make video calls, and how to take better advantage of window management apps, and more. While it's always an option to buy a 32-inch Pro Display XDR and use it up close, like most monitors are intended to be used, not everybody has that luxury. So by building the setup shown today, you get yourself closer to experiencing retina quality displays without actually having to buy them. In the process, we save ourselves money and get to take better advantage of our screens. The main display should be a 4K 32-inch monitor. I used a 1440p, 2560 by 1440 pixels, 32-inch display for a few years, and it's been functional and good value. But when I upgraded to 4K, it was a significant improvement. A good 1440p main display is the LG 32 QN600. I purchased it for roughly $200 five years ago, so it's worked out to an insanely good value at $40 per year. I recently purchased a Dell U3225 QE and made a raving review about it. I'm addicted to how good this monitor is for productivity. At $1000, it was much more expensive, but it's much brighter, it's 4K, it has 120Hz, and it has a Thunderbolt hub built in. And it's already leaps better than all of my other screens, excluding the MacBook Pro screen. And I don't regret the purchase at all, and if you can stretch it, I highly recommend it. The biggest size that I found sits comfortably on the sides of the 32 inch main monitor is a 21 and a half inch monitor. I'll just refer to them as just 21 inch monitors moving forward. 24 inches and bigger starts being too big for your peripheral vision and starts causing discomfort. Two 1080p monitors on top of each other are perfect for putting reference information and small tasks on the sides of your 32 inch without forcing you to switch windows and get distracted. Three 21 inch displays that wrap around the 32 inch main monitor and one laptop are the perfect setup. For eye comfort, use the app Better Display to set the scaling to 80% or 1536 by 864. This results in a 1080p screen that makes text look crisp and amazing and a genuine pleasure to read, even from a distance. Enter the LG Dual Up display. The dual up is equal to two 21 inch monitors stacked on top of each other. It's great to have three 21 inch monitors, but it's even nicer to have one dual up on one side and one 21 inch monitor above the laptop on the other. Why? The dual up has a higher resolution at 2560 by 2880, which is like two 1440p monitors stacked on top of another instead of two 1080p monitors. They don't make 1440p 21 inch monitors for whatever reason and 1080p is sharp enough, but 1440p is even better. And once you adjust the scaling, it makes your text look even sharper when you increase its size. From a window size perspective, having a dual up that combines the two screens lets you adjust the height of the windows to being three quarters height, for example, instead of being tied down to the height of each 21 inch monitor. Again, use the app Better Display to set the scaling to 61%, or 1568 by 1764. 
For the side displays, you could always turn a 24 inch 16 by 10 monitor sideways, which I did for my LG TV setup. But the 21 inch monitors are still wider than the 24 inch displays are tall. And that bit of extra horizontal space makes a big difference. The dual up is wide enough to be useful, like the 21 inch monitors, and is tall, but isn't too tall, like a vertical 32 inch monitor would be. Ultimately, the 21 inch monitor stacked or a single dual up display are the perfect ratio. You can try using vertical 24 inch, 27 inch or 32 inch monitors, but you will find yourself either not having enough horizontal room with a 24 inch or having to move your head up and down too much with a 32 inch. The last open spot in this setup is where the laptop goes. I have a laptop VESA arm that helps move it out of the way when I need to use the mouse. You can do something creative and get this whole setup to work over one cable, or two cables at the most. So it's plug and play to plug in your laptop and use the whole setup and unplug it to work on the go. It goes without saying that a laptop adds all of the video conferencing capabilities you might need, includes a webcam, speakers and microphone, so you don't need to worry about those things with this setup. If you do use a desktop, you can always get creative and add those things as well, as shown on the office setup. To support this whole thing, I recommend a desk that's at least 60 inches wide. You can get away with a narrower desk, but you'll need special monitor arms to hang the side monitors over the sides. Shown are 72 inch wide, 30 inch deep tabletops. I recommend 30 inch depth at least. 34 inches or more depth would be better, and I'm constantly wishing that these desks were deeper. Having a chair with arm supports helps create the impression of deeper desks and gives me the wrist support I need. It's a constant challenge finding deep tabletops. See my standing desk playlist for how I made a custom, oversized, three-piece tabletop work on an uplift standing desk. For window management, you can use Better Snap Tool or Magnet or one of the many other window management apps to send windows to different screens and different layouts. And on Windows, you can use the built-in snap feature. And better yet, Windows lets you snap to the top and bottom halves using the built-in tool. Windows detects that you're using a dual up or a large vertical display and automatically lets you choose the top and bottom halves. In today's video, we shared a hyper-productive multi-monitor setup. I've curated this over a few years and love this design so much that I copied it, twice, so that I have my personal and work machines side by side in the same layout. If you agree or disagree with this setup, let us know in the comments below. If you try it out and helps, do share as well. I appreciate you taking the time to tune in, to comment, and subscribe if you found this helpful. And thanks for watching.